Okay, so for this project, you're gonna need some sort of glass container, a vase, a jar, whatever. I just got this at my local Dollar Tree, along with a candle. You're gonna need either packing tape if you're doing a smaller graphic or um, clear contact paper if it's a larger graphic. My graphic that I'm using is just a little bit wider than the packing tape, so I'm going to use contact paper here, which I also got at my local Dollar Tree. You're gonna need some sort of smoothing tool. They sell special tools, but I usually just use like a credit card or a gift card, whatever. And then you're gonna need your actual graphic. I had these printed, I just go to my local FedEx Kinko's because it needs to be um, laser printed. A lot of home printers, including my own, are inkjet, and so you need the laser copy. Plus, um, when you print at like uh, a printing center, you're just gonna get really good quality, crisp photos. And then you're just gonna need a little dish of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap my contact paper and cut out a small square. Okay, so I've got my graphic here as well as a little square of contact paper that I don't want to be much lar larger than my uh, graphic. So I'm just gonna trim this down here a little bit. Now you'll notice I did not mirror this image or the text. In other image transfer projects, you're gonna wanna mirror them. In this one, you're not, and you're gonna see why as this goes along. So you're just gonna take your little square of contact paper. This is always like the hardest part is getting that first corner to peel away. There we go. Okay, and then I'm just gonna try not to get too many fingerprints on it. Start at the top and roll smooth down in the center and then out. And you just wanna smooth out all your air bubbles and make this as smooth of contact as possible. Because you really wanna get all that ink to adhere to your contact paper. So this is nice and smoothed out. Oh, and I got, I didn't quite line this up perfectly, oh well. It's gonna cut off just a tiny little bit of my leaf, but that's okay. Now you're gonna take your dish of water and you're going to fully submerge this into your water. And you're gonna wanna let it dissolve the, the white paper and you're eventually gonna get, you may have to, you have to let it sit for a minute or two to really um, have the paper absorb all that water but eventually what's gonna happen is the paper, see it's starting to tear, and as you just rub with your fingers, very gently, and take your time on this, just very gently rub away at that white paper. So the idea is you want no white film left, and all that's gonna be left is the ink and then the negative space, which should be clear on your tape. So I'm gonna keep working at this, until I get all the paper peeled away. You wanna be extra gentle, especially over where your letters are. You can see I'm already losing a little bit of the tops of my letters because I was a little too rough with it. So just be careful um, over the ink areas. Okay, so now I think I've got all my little white paper bits off and I'm just gonna set this aside, sticky side up um, until that completely dries and the stickiness on the back of the contact paper when it dries will, um, will come back. Okay, so now I've let this piece of contact paper completely dry. If after it dries, you notice there's significant white flakes on your decal, you can go ahead and dump it back in the water and wipe the rest of those paper pieces off. But I'm pretty happy with, with what I've got here. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and clean off my glass. Okay, now I'm going to just take my contact paper and the sticky side is sticky again because I've let it dry. And I want to I 
want to place this as evenly as possible. Okay, so I didn't get it perfect. I still have like a little bit of white flakes, but that's okay because I'm putting a white candle in it. There we have a little decal on my glass and it says fall is in the air so I'm ready to light this bad boy and get ready for fall. Mm -hmm. 